relationship. That's picture number two that you showed. I, I couldn't hear you. Picture number two that you showed the guy helping up the other two. It's like picture number two, right? That's right. Okay. Well, people around the country responded strongly to this. Um, ESPN called this the sports moment of the year in the year that it happened. The sports moment of the year. And why? Because they felt it was such a great example of honoring the game. And why did, why did, why did um, they decide to help the other player? What, when they were asked, why did you do that? Why would you help the other? Do well, you remember what she, they said? That's, that's exactly what they, she said. She said, because I thought it was the right thing to do. Anybody recognize this guy? Michelle recognizes him. <laughs> Dave, do you recognize him? Yeah. Who's that? My boss. He's your, he's your new boss. <laughs> and your new boss wrote the book, Elevating Your Game. This is Jim Thompson, the author of this book. And I want to read you something from Jim Thompson right out of Elevating Your Game. And if you want to read along with me, I'm on page 63. I'm on the third paragraph from the bottom. And here's what Jim Thompson has to say to you. He says, Athletes who compete long enough will find themselves faced with a Mallory moment where doing the right thing at the right time elevates the game in an unexpected way. Your Mallory moment won't look exactly like Mallory Holtman's moment. It will have its own dimensions, particulars, and look and feel. It may not even be much noticed or remembered by onlookers. But count on it. Sooner or later, you will be faced with a situation in which you can elevate the game the way Mallory did. Will you be ready for your Mallory moment? Okay, I want you, um, any, you can write this down anywhere again, in your book or on the evaluation sheet. I want you to write down some of the groups of people who 10 years from now, 25 years from now, maybe even 50 years from now, are going to remember you as an athlete here at River City High School. Some of the groups of people that are going to remember you. I personally think there will be people who remember you. Yes? I want you to write it down somewhere. Yeah. Is that it's the right way to compete. And being a triple impact, impact competitor, even though it's rare, Triple impact competitors are still relatively rare in our sports culture, unfortunately. But to be remembered in an admiring way, being a triple impact competitor is, is one way, is probably the best way to do that. I started the workshop, I asked you to talk about some of the athletes you admire most, Jiraiya and the other ones you guys mentioned. Okay, if you want to be remembered in that way, strive to be a triple impact competitor. I want you to hear from one more person. Anybody know who Shane Battier is? Yes. Yeah. Who, who's Shane Battier? Plays, with, plays on the Miami Heat. Former NCAA champion at Duke University. If, if you pick up a ball. There's something wrong with him. He's no longer with the Memphis Grizzlies right now. He plays for the, when we When we recorded this video, um, he was on the Memphis Grizzlies. Now he plays with the, the Miami Heat. Okay. T talking about why it's so important to be a triple impact competitor. You've got a, a book about being a triple impact competitor, elevating your game. I encourage you, find time to read it. I think, I think you'll uh, be glad you did. Okay, I want to thank you all, uh, Raiders, for uh, your participation in the workshop. You are um, you're a very impressive group of uh, young people, a very impressive group of student athletes. I predict good things ahead for this group, not only on the scoreboard, but uh, in school uh, and after after high school, whether it's college or something else, and, and certainly in life. I, I see, uh, I see uh, a, a bright, bright future for this group. Uh, it's really fun working with you today. I'm going to stick around. Michelle uh, and David will be around for a few minutes as we pack up. Uh, you, you have your evaluation form. I know some of you have started filling it out. I want to be a triple impact competitor. I want to make myself better. I want to make the workshops better. I want to make PCA better. So any information, any excuse me, any feedback you can give me on this form, I would greatly appreciate. Question? Yeah, I, I want you to give it to me. You don't have to write your name on it. Where it says PCA presenter, you can just write in Ruben 
And where it says workshop type at the top, you can check. Which box do you think you're supposed to check? Triple, Triple impact competitor is the box you're supposed to check. Thanks again, uh, and have a great rest of your school year, great next season.